guys so I am going to show off a couple new things that I got um, from Colourpop.com I have wanted um, this particular palette that I'm going to show off for um, several months now like the beginning of lockdown or the pandemic um, uh, the girl that I talked about in my last um, video about the skincare the new skincare that I got um, from Sephora and all from like Drunk Elephant brand um, was from the girl Ali Glines on Instagram, on YouTube, etc. Um, I love her videos, and she did a video in March, like beginning of March, for this palette from ColourPop called Making Mobs. She did um, a whole like look with it back in March, like I said, and did a video, and I loved it, and immediately wanted to get this palette because she got it and did a beautiful look for it. And I think it would look great with my like eye color, with my green eyes. Hopefully that is focusing. Um, I love these colors, they are so beautiful. And she did a beautiful look with it. I just had to get it, but as soon as I went on the ColourPop website, it was sold out. Put myself on the waiting list and waited for it to come back in stock. It came back, um, let's say, I think around beginning of July, end of June. So I immediately bought it. And at the time, I was scrolling through the Instagram, um, Colourpop's Instagram, and they have this, like, body, um, like, collaboration with Soul Body. It's this brand that does, um, glitters or shimmers for the body, and I scrolled through their Instagram, and it's so pretty, and so I was like, oh, to make, to, like, break up my purchase or whatever, so I pay a little bit now and a little bit later. I, um, bought the Soul Body Shimmer Dry Oil. So I decided on a pink champagne, which I thought would have colors that I would like. However, um, when that came in like early July, my whole order came with the Making Mobs palette. Um, this one came by accident. I got the Shimmer Dry Oil, but again, this Glow Oil came instead. So now for free, they sent me the right one, which is great. Um, so I will show off this one that I got by accident, but still they let you keep it if it was an accident on their part, which it was. Um, so it's the, like I said, the pink champagne, both are in pink champagne, but this is the one I got on accident. And I actually really like it. Um, I might put it on my eyes one day or create a look with it. And then this is the one I really wanted um, because you can actually see the little sparkles got flecks of gold, pink, it's mainly pink with flecks of gold, a little bit of silver but I like the gold in it and this is unshaken so this is just sitting on my desk. This is a glass bottle, that's a plastic bottle. Um, I much prefer this one so I'm glad that they sent me this one for free. So hopefully you can see that. Um, all the flecks of gold in there and I love it. I've worn it a couple times. Uh, this one a couple times um, in the sunlight and it's beautiful. Also with the purchase of the original order I got the angled kabuki brush um, with it as well. I would say it's got like a fresh rosy smell. Another thing that I've been dying to try out since I bought it, but I haven't even opened it or touched it because I wanted to show it on film, um, on camera, um, is the Full Beat Colourpop Sponge Collection. I am so happy and so excited that I bought this and invested in it. I think it was only $15 or less or maybe $20. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it wasn't that expensive for all these sponges and I'm so happy. Um, I think Ali Glines has used a couple of these um, in her videos but I don't know if she's done a whole review on them but that's okay. They looked really enticing. Um, especially the rainbow for Pride Month last month. I'm going to read off what all of these are and what they do. The first one is called the Velvet Blending Sponge. The flocked velvet texture creates a flawless airbrushed look. The detailed blending sponge precision tip that fits perfectly under the eyes next one after that looks purple in the camera and that is the hourglass blending sponge the hourglass shape is comfy to hold and 
bounces on product easily. The next one is the green one. It's the Complexion Blending Sponge, your go-to for flawless complexion application. And last one is the Silicone Blending Sponge. Silicone care minimizes product absorption. So each of these do something different for you in your makeup application process. So my plan for this video was just to show off my new products, but also um, to do a little um, tutorial or video on me using my new palette because this is one I'm really excited about. Um, I'm going to be watching Allie Klein's video back from March. I will link it down below to see so you can see what I'm referencing. Um, I'm going to be using this palette and going off of what she was using because I'm not really an expert on this palette yet and I don't really know what goes with what yet. I could just play around but I'm going to go and do, I'm going to copy her um, tutorial first and that's what I'm going to be looking at and recreating pretty much um, in this video and then as I get more used to it and play around with this palette a bunch I will make my own tutorial up and make up my own look. I probably won't be doing my complexion today with the sponges I really just wanted to show them off. I think I might watch a couple reviews um, in the meantime to see what other people use the sponges for and get a better um, grasp on what each of them do. Hopefully you guys can share this video, circulate it around, maybe Colourpop will see this video, I don't know. Um, would love to be sponsored by them or at least get on their PR list. Hopefully then I can get some of their products and review it like I've been doing on my own for a really long time. I love Colourpop so much. Um, you know, I buy a lot of their products by myself, would love to be sent them to be to review. Um, I love watching other people's reviews. I hope that you like my reviews, um, they're just my opinions and I play around. Uh, but anyway, I hope you like this tutorial, this kind of look that I did. Um, I know I didn't do my complexion today, but like I said, I'm gonna watch more reviews. I'm gonna watch Ali's review on the full beat collection and see what I need to do to use each sponge, where what each sponge is best for, whether that's um, powder, liquid foundation, etc. Just leave a comment, please down below. I'd um, love for you to subscribe um, for more videos. Um, I'm hopefully trying to do them more consistently. Um, I'll go, you know, to Wi-Fi if I need to because ours is so bad. So I will do what I can to post more consistently. Um, you might have seen my medical update recently too that I've not actually filmed it yet but that should have come out actually before this. Um, I will do that. Um, that's before this. You can go watch that. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please, please subscribe for more videos, like I said. And like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, just comment down below. Tell me what I could do differently. I'd love to make these more consistent and uh, high quality. I am filming this one on my camera versus my phone. Tell me if you like the look of my phone versus my camera. Let me know. Um, the more interaction, the better. Uh, the more people that see this, the better. Um, share it, like it, etc. Do all the things pretty please. That would be great. Um, and let me know what you want to see as well. If you want to see more food, if you want to see more makeup, if you want to see more 
in my life, uh, just let me know. I'd love to know what you want to see. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon.